Yeah. Speaking of things derogatory, Forspoken is out. And, oh yeah, uh, thinking, it's funny because I wasn't expecting, I wasn't uh, planning to talk about that game at all, but we have time, so we might as well. Because yeah, me and people are saying kind of mid. I knew it was going to be mid because I played the demo, and the right. demo was mid. It was super mid. <laughs> Here's the weird thing: it's the combat has it's the type of game that you play it and go, mm, it has so much potential, but it just misses the mark because the it's overly complicated. It has an interesting right. magic system and, mm-hmm. and 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 like fun traversal, but the controls are just too complicated. And it's every button either does something or does multiple things, and it, it's overwhelming. Right. But when you get a little bit of a hang of it, it's it's really fun, like mixing together all the different magic types. But it's it, it I feel there's too much of a learning curve, and even once you do figure it out, it's still a lot. Also, outside of that, the world and the story just is boring. Mm. And the characters aren't super interesting. So from what I understand is a lot of people are making fun of the like the type of um dialogue in the game, which I get I don't it doesn't bother me too much, but I get why people don't like it. Um mm. But uh here's the thing. And I'm sure there's some of this, but people like to throw the race card around a little too easy sometimes. Yeah. And are trying to say that people are shitting on this game because the main character is black. And I'm like, no, the no. game just is mid. I'm sorry. Right. You can't it's just like, make this about race just because the main character is black and people don't like it. It's yeah, just it's like a mid game. Mid games. I'm sorry. It's... But exactly. Black people can star in mid games. It's possible. And here's the thing. Why are you defending a game starring a black person by an all white development team? Right. Like, not only that, but um, I'm going to find the tweet right now. Hold up. Because there's a tweet where a person said apparently that um, the like creative director had some very interesting and kind of racist things to say. Oh, about boy. About the making of this game. Oh, here it is. So um, her name is uh, Bernetta, um, at Bernetta Writes on Twitter. Um, and she says... This is a stereotypical way in which the entirely non-black development and writing team described the black leading characters and was um, for spoken. So I'm going to read what, what they said. All right. So I'm going to just read this um, picture she put up of an article. It says, my newfound fears weren't helped when Raymer and Stashwick described Frey's origin story, which came off as a tired amalgamation of black stereotypes. Those stereotypes included her being very angry, her having fallen through cracks of society and being on the verge of prison before being teleported to Athea. It's a isekai, which is right. an interesting concept for a video game. Um, yeah, definitely. The cherry on top of my newfound dread was um, was motion capture and voiceover director Tom Keegan describing Bolinska's mannerisms during her motion capture performance as having a very hip-hoppy kind of walk. Oh, oh boy. And I, w- I wasn't the only journalist to find Keegan's awkward remark and lack of black writers shown in our preview as harrowing. Yeah, so um, that was from um, Kotaku, but yeah, I I muted for spoken on Twitter because I was like, I just don't want to hear about it. It's a mid game. <laughs> That's real. Just just get this mid game out of my face. <laughs> now I was considering it as one of those games that I'm like, um, maybe I'll play it when it's discounted. But now at this point, I'm like, yeah, nah. Yeah, I'm good. It doesn't seem like it's worth it. F somehow. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing: this game doesn't necessarily have to get a sequel. What it does need to get is. They could make another game that utilizes a very similar magic system, but in a much better way. Right. Because my problem is, and I feel like this is a weird problem that I've discovered about games that are published by Square Enix, not necessarily made by Square Square Enix. Is like main development mm-hmm. teams, like their creative business teams, is what they call their main development teams. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. um. What I learned is that it's funny that every, almost every, um. Uh, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> Almost every Square yeah. Enix produced game that doesn't do well could learn from Final Fantasy VII Remake in oh, some real. very specific way. So for specifically with Forspoken, they could learn from a similar way that Guardians of the Galaxy could have. I'm going to say it first, Guardians of the Galaxy is a good game. The gameplay, on the other hand, can get real boring real fast because you can only play a Star-Lord, which is weird. But in... Um, Final Fantasy, it's very similar in that there's one main character, but you can switch between all the other characters, and you can give each character individual orders, and that's something that um, Guardians could have learned from Final Fantasy VII. Similarly, 
for Spokane could have learned how to juggle a bunch of different magic and being able to use that magic um, with like n not too complicated controls and what um, Final Fantasy does is you can map certain attacks to to certain buttons and you can press a button and time will slow down and you can pick between the magic and then click on it and perform the magic and I'm like there it's just it's a lot if you like watch a um I, I think the demo might still be around, <laughs> oh. but um, it's it's a strange game. It's, it's yeah. you know what I you know first and foremost I think the people who are defending this game are defending it way too hard. Like they're defending it like their life depends on it, and I think right. it's a matter of and it it's I don't think it's fully their fault because we're in a society where it feels like you're not allowed to dislike things no not dislike things but like things that are mid no bro you can like things that are mid you just have to you know live with the fact that Except that it's mid yeah you like it but most people consider it mid like let me tell you something that people consider mid that i love the james cameron avatar movies i, I like them <laughs> i like them a lot but yeah. people, people call them mid all the time and i get it i get why people call them mid is that going to stop me from watching it? No. I'm going to watch every single one of them. I'm going to watch all five of these movies that didn't need to be five movies and could have just been a trilogy. But I'm going to watch it anyway. I'm, I'm going to be the reason why these movies make a billion dollars every single time. <laughs> You're real for that. Okay. If you like Forspoken, that's okay. But it's mid. <laughs> and that's just how it is. Like, You know, like Tupac said, that's just the way it is. 